So the PlayStation 5 comes out in just over a month, for me at least, and just last week I decided to cancel my pre-order. Now I was planning on doing some PlayStation 5 content, I might still do some PlayStation 4 content on the channel, but as I said I was going to be doing some PlayStation 5 content and now I'm not. So I might be the first person in history to ever say this about a console launch, but I'm glad and happy that I cancelled my pre-order for the PlayStation 5. I had the PlayStation 5 pre-ordered from about an hour after they went live because websites were terrible and just crashed instantly. But I cancelled it last week because I just wasn't excited for it. Initially when everything went live I thought I was excited for it and that's why I pre-ordered it in the first place. Don't get me wrong, some of the games look really good, but the only game that I was excited for was Godfall, and I think Godfall is also the main reason that my hype for this system just died completely. So there was a thing that came out about Godfall saying that it was an always online game that had to have a persistent connection, and just hearing that instantly killed any interest I had in that game and that killed any and all interest I had in the PlayStation 5 at lunch. So I'm not going to be getting the PlayStation 5 at lunch, I'm also not getting an Xbox Series X at lunch and I honestly feel much happier about that because I was much more excited for other games that were coming out in November, mainly Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. So going forward it's going to be Nintendo stuff, uh, anything on the Nintendo Switch and because I am stupidly excited for Assassin's Creed Valhalla I may do PlayStation 4 footage of that as well. I will be getting a PlayStation 5 eventually, I'll be getting it when Final Fantasy 16 releases, that's the decision that I've made. I might get it earlier than that, I might not we'll find out eventually but as of right now no PlayStation 5 for me at launch and no PlayStation 5 content for the foreseeable future. Anyway that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I feel better now that I don't have it pre-ordered. It's not the fact that I'm saving £450 but it is nice that I can now spend that on other things that I am actually excited about. So yeah, that's pretty much all this video is for. Have a nice day.